I hope you're hungry. Mmm. Amazing. Is that salt? Uh, is that salt? Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to watch um, Black Mirror. The new season just came out. Super excited. I'm going to watch episode one. Joan is awful. Hey, I love this show. I've seen all of it before. <clears throat> but way before I started reacting to stuff, I always thought it'd be great to react to. But it's um, hasn't been out forever. It's been ye years since they put a new season out. Let's just get into it. I'm dying to get into it since I saw early this morning on Twitter that it was out. Yeah, you ready to just start? I don't hear you. <laughs> like, subscribe, and comment, by the way. I need some subscribers, please. And uh, if you like uh, full reactions early, I release them as, pretty much as soon as I'm done with the, the episode on my Patreon. Link is down below. Let's do it. Forgot about that cool intro. Joan is awful. Great title. Oh, I think she's famous. I'm pretty bad with famous people's names. Yum. Yum, indeed. Mm. That's the kind of boyfriend I am. I'll make you breakfast. Oh. Hey, Joan. Mike? It's one of the pluses. It's great. Sandy's outside waiting for that 10 15. Oh, God. I know. <laughs> um, give me five. I need to, like, psych up. You're letting me go, but I'm still working on my audio compression algorithm. Unfortunately, the board feel your compression algo isn't a thing that they want to pursue. Without it, we'll need more data servers, which means a bigger carbon footprint will breach all of our environmental pledges. It's, I'm sorry, it's how the board feel. I just put a deposit down on a new apartment. I'm sure this hasn't been an easy decision for them. Joan, please don't do this. I'm just going to give you a minute to compose yourself i feel pretty composed i really i am so sorry <laughs> i invited you to the housewarming joe mm. ask brutus to escort her out oh god brutus oh my god awkward oh shit <laughs> Hit her right on the head. She went to flick it like there's ashes on it. Not good? Oh, no. You know, it used to be my dream to run my own coffee shop. That would not have gone out with our name on it. Neither would the coffee at my job. <laughs> uh. Your job. I just kind of feel like I'm going through the motions every day. I'm engaged to Krish. Yes. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> it's good. Krish is a great guy, and he's smart, and he cares, but... Maybe he's just a little bit, like, vanilla, you know? Like, even the <laughs> food he cooks is bland. Oh, um, shit. And I put myself in his category. Sorry, I feel like such an asshole saying that. When I was with my ex. Mac. Mac, yeah. Um, I mean, it was just constant sex and craziness, and the fights were... <sighs> but I never got over him. Krish. And then I met Krish, and he was sweet and safe and so i just kind of went with the flow yeah i just feel like i never like actively chose this like i feel like i'm just on autopilot you know how you are always talking about like the life story i feel like i'm not the main character in my own life story interesting well this is how it happens 
can't just be making breakfast every day. You gotta <laughs> once in a while. Hey. <laughs> uh. I love your hair like that, the streaks. Phyllis at the salon kind of like talked me into it. Oh. Well, Phyllis at the salon deserves a raise because you look hot as shit. Oh, okay. I mean it. Okay. Uh. God, it seems so realistic. Hey, how is... Krisha's good. You sound like you're really crazy about him. We tried us for two years. Remember how that ended? Yep. So, yeah, I am marrying Krish. You broke us up. You broke my fucking heart. And just when I'm picking up all of the pieces of my life, you pop back up like... Like an unflushed turd. Well, yeah, it's not what I was getting at, but yeah. What you and I had was real. I want to be with you. I'm here for three days and then I go back to San Jose. Come with me. I can't. Uh. I can't leave Crash. No, you can't leave Crash. I mean, you can't leave Crash. They're gonna make out. Arr. No, 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 no. Going for the bad boy. Should not have come here. Fuck. Oh my God. Roger's been a drinking. It was a goodbye party. I hope you're hungry. Oh my god, he's always cooking. Mm. Amazing. Is that salt? Uh, is that salt? <laughs> is that salt I, I detect? Oh, Let's see what's on Streamberry. Ah, Streamberry. Mm. <laughs> That's the same. How about your tranquility? Eric said it blows. Lock Henry, the Scottish murder thing? I can't really do another true crime. I'm sorry, just okay, after okay. Gacy. <laughs> after Gacy. What? New drama, Joan is awful. That's Selma Hayek? Uh, she even has your hair. <laughs> That's not my hair. And she's even called Joan. Okay, what even is this show? Oh, this is funny. Well, we're watching it. No, we're not watching Joan is awful. Just did play. Oh my god, it's gonna be her life. Ah, that's so funny. It's Netflix sound. Oh my god, it's gonna be her day that she just went through. Selma High. There's Selma High. Uh, looks like him, too. It's a lot like our bedroom. That's not my hair. God, it's gonna have the scene. It's gonna be everything. She's gonna freak out. This Joan is shady. Ooh. What is this? It's called Joan is Awful. It's got Salma Hayek in it. She looks like Joan. <laughs> wow. Awful. What the fuck? It's gonna have every detail. We're gonna watch a TV show in a bar? We are absolutely gonna watch a TV show in a bar. Streamberry. <laughs> oh shit! Holy shit, that's where you work. How did you do this? How did I this do this? This is a prank. How did you do this? Well, I didn't. I don't so. find it fucking funny. I, I didn't do anything. How's the coffee? <laughs> I'll get the machine replaced. Oh god. Oh, oh god. It's gonna have her meeting with her psychiatrist. <laughs> It's waiting for that 10:15. Is he still there? <laughs> he's still there. They made me the gayest man on earth. Oh, uh. I like what he's wearing. What the fuck is this? How the fuck is this? Thanks. Oh my god, is that really what I sound like? Should we be quiet, please? <laughs> Do you think he's better looking than me? <laughs> All right, hey, let's slow our breathing down. Uh, well, just feel the floor. Feel the floor. <laughs> Who is that actress? Our carbon footprint. Not that concern. What she's like. Oh my god, she is cold. <laughs> Holy crap, this is funny. Uh, when? <laughs> she oh did god. not say that. Oh my god. I did not say that like that. I, that is not what happened. Baby. She's making me so uncomfortable. I'm so sorry. Get Why are you consoling Joan? Why am I consoling Joan? She was upset. This is bad. This is okay. All right. Fucking insane. All right. Okay. Hey, look. I was just trying to make you feel. Oh God. Okay. She does it on purpose. Oh my God. My mom's seen it. What? Everybody can see this. 
Has Mac been texting you? What? No, no. Right. You can yeah. come in now. Oh no! Well, oh, actually, is... I want to keep watching. No, no, no. hey, whoa! Chris, Chris, I want it off. No. Very vanilla. Even his cooking is bland. Hmm. Turn it off. With my ex-boyfriend, Mac. There was so much crazy, wild, imaginative, constant sex. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Wow. TV. I didn't say this. Krish? I haven't gotten over, Mac. Oh, my God. Oh, Christ. Some of the details, the whole thing, it's just, it's blown out of proportion, okay? I didn't say that to my therapist. So what did you say? Uh, Why is this happening? I don't know. I can't live, Krish. Well, it's got his name and everything. Their names are the same. Joan is awful. Is this going to keep going? Is that Kate Blanchett? That's Kate Blanchett? <laughs> oh, no. I don't know what's going on, but none of that happened. I haven't even seen Mac in so long. Then sh show me your phone. It's in the house. Oh. So convenient. Goodbye. Krish, don't go. Please don't leave me by myself. This is fucking insane. Please don't. Krish, please. Wow. They did make her look worse. Oh my god! It's TV! It's not real! If you weren't texting Mac, show me your phone. Mac! <laughs> hmm. This is fucking brilliant. Streamberry. Shame on you. <laughs> Didn't really do anything, although the show made her look worse. It was like all her actions, but tainted with like kind of a more cold-hearted motivation than she actually has did you see it everybody saw it it's all anyone can talk about how'd it come across <laughs> how'd it come i just don't know what this is <sighs> why spirit is here you let slip about the whole algorithm data server carbon footprint thing technically you broke your nda what that's not fair that was Oh, my the board wants you out. I'm here to help you pack. Oh my god. Wow. And then everything that happens is the next episode. Sayonara, Queen. <laughs> Sayonara, Queen. <laughs> is there going to be an explanation? Legally. The Streamberry Corporation can do this. But the show is using my life. It's it's my name, it's my career, it's me. And you assign them the right to exploit all of that. Terms and conditions. I have never seen this before. All of that would have popped up on your phone or whatever when you first signed up to Streamberry and you clicked accept. They can't do this to me. There are only so many ways for me to tell you that they absolutely can. <laughs> well, Selma Hayek. Pretty cool. No, no, I'm gonna sue Selma Hayek. For what? For, like, passing herself off as me. She has no right to do that. Well, it's not really Selma Hayek. The show deploys a digital likeness of Ms. Hayek. Oh, wow. Her. She licensed her image to them. The entire show is CGI. It's generated by some kind of super advanced, deep fake quantum computer mumbo jumbo. <laughs> I think Selma Hayek blow an orangutan. If, I'm guessing Ms. Hayek might object to that, but you get my point. How do they even know what I'm doing? It's the same, it's the same day. <laughs> you know when you got your phone face down on the table and you're, and then you're talking to your friend about studio advisors, and then, you know, you go on your computer and what pops up? A studio advising ad. So? Um, that's how they know. The show makes stuff up about me. It embellishes things. It makes me look worse than I really am. So, defamation. There's something about creating Characters and dialogue for dramatic purposes. Fuck! I agree. My advice is to try and ignore it. What the fuck kind of advice is that? The thing that pops up on your phone is actually that thick on paper. It's like you're gonna scroll through. Hi guys. Hey, 
thousand pages. It is using my life, my name, my career. Terms and conditions. There, sorry. What's wrong? I can't get hard. You want me to do that horrible thing you love? This is so public. This is gonna be on the show. No, so I mean, like, I'm gonna be the guy who can't get it up for Selma Hayek? I mean, it's like, you know, it's one thing to not be able to... <laughs> get it up. Like, you... People are gonna laugh at me. This show is called fucking Joan is Awful. How do you think I feel? When I said that I wanted to get back together with you. When you basically begged me to get back together with you. Yeah, but I didn't agree to be a public figure. Neither did I. Uh. Page 58 of the terms and conditions. It's essential on the show. I always said you gotta read the terms and conditions. Oh my God. This is so funny. Make her blow an orangutan if they want it. Is she gonna get an idea? The real Miss Blanchett might object to that. She's gonna get an idea on how to get revenge? What's she gonna do, get fat? To do something that Selma Hayek would get object to? <laughs> Oh, wow. Merry Christmas! One and all! Get the kids out of here! Get out of here! It's so funny. Some hag's gonna fucking hate this. <laughs> she drew a dick on her forehead. You not seen Jonah's awful? No, but it's on my list. Wait till episode four. It's gonna be a blast. Never in my wildest nightmares, I thought I'd see myself defecating in a church. That's the Joan character, not you. Whose face do they have? Do they have your face or my face? Your face. Salma Hayek's face. So then whose anus is doing the shitting? <laughs> Who's that? Selma Hayek's anus? Bingo. <laughs> Roman Catholic. What right do they have with this deep fake heretic abomination? Uh, page 39, paragraph 8. Paragraph 8 can suck my dick. <laughs> it says anyway. Uh, your image rights agreement with Streambury specifically covers any acts or behaviors Joan may exhibit up to, including, and beyond defecation. Beyond defecation? I mean, doesn't my asshole have any rights? What can you do to erase this image from every machine in the world? Nothing. Then I guess I'm just gonna have to settle for a huge lawsuit against them. There is no legal basis. There's no way can sue these guys. You take your barograph fate and shove it up your ass and I hope that you get paper cuts in your hemorrhoids and die! This is wild! <sighs> it's gonna be Selma Hayek. They're gonna team up. What the fuck? I actually think that you would come to welcome to my home. I understand that you're mad. Oh, do you? Please don't kill me, Selma Hayek. <laughs> Please don't kill me, Selma Hayek. What's wrong with you, girl? Must you be so disgusting? If you don't have any self-respect, that's your thing. But to disrespect the church, and frankly, to disrespect my image, I don't want to be associated with you. Well, I don't want to be associated with me either. They took my life. They turned it into a, a, a CGI fucking drama. I lose my fiance, I lose my job. They put my entire existence out there for everyone to watch. And you signed up to be the face of it. You're a fucking enabler. I should be yelling at you. You are yelling at me. Well, I need to yell at someone. I am sorry that I shat in a church, but I was trying to get your attention so that you'd get in touch with Streamberry and have them pull the plug on the show. I already made that call. And? They told me to go fuck myself. They did. 
How much are they paying you? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. That is so fucked up. They're screwing us both. I mean, how do you think Kate Blanchett feels about this? Fuck her. <laughs> I want to go and take that computer and rip the cables out of it and stick them up. It's us. Let's bring down the system. The, the computer thing. Oh, yeah. Let's. It says the server's outside of Mona Javadi's office. So we just get in there and fucking... Her office is all the way at the top. We can't crawl on the side of the building like Spider-Man. No, 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 you don't have to. Because you can just walk in the front door. Because you're Selma fucking Hayek. Thank you. <laughs> I am Selma fucking Hayek. <laughs> this is so funny. We can't climb on the side of the building like Spider-Man's. I have an appointment with Mona Javadi. It should be in the system. Please do. Excuse me, is there a restroom I can use? Of course. Right over there. I'm afraid that's too public. Thanks to your show, every time people see me go into one of those, all they can think about is hot birria coming out of my bottom. Can we swipe Miss Hayek through? There is a private restroom down the corridor on the right. <laughs> Thank you. And don't worry, I'm just gonna pee. Yes? Apparently Salma Hayek's downstairs asking to see you. Didn't we tell her to go fuck herself this morning? Maybe that's why. <laughs> Just get security to chuck her out. Did we tell her to, did we tell her to go fuck herself this morning? What are you wearing? It's a disguise. Take it off, they're gonna think you're kidnapping me. Okay. This whole floor is dedicated to content generation. Shut and that up. is made by this, the computer, which is actually just down that corridor on the left. The kind of quantum computer. Yeah, hence the name. An infinite content creator capable of willing entire multiverses. Joan is awful. Oh, I wish they'd stop saying that. <laughs> and the role Salma's depicting is based on a real Joan. Why that particular woman? What's so special about her? Absolutely nothing. We were looking for a totally average nobody person, just, just to test the system. The aim here is to launch unique, tailored content to each individual in our database, all 800 million of them. Relatable <laughs> content. <laughs> They're all, is awful. There's one for you. I couldn't resist. This is actually real and will be available to stream from Friday. <laughs> uh, why awful? Um, we did try more affirmative content. Um, our subjects just didn't buy it. It didn't chime with their neurotic view of themselves. When we focused on their more weak or selfish or craven moments, it confirmed their innermost fears and put them in a state of mesmerized horror. Ah. Which really drives engagement. Let's kill this Guamputa. Oh my God. There it is. Holy Christ! I know it's allowed in here! If you call security, I will break your arm. Understood? Yes, Miss Hayek. <laughs> What's that? Joan is awful. No, but that's me. That should be her, right? Because that's the variant of Joan is awful that the Joan below you sees when she watches the show. The Joan below me? What? You're not the original Joan. That's Source Joan. Source Joan? Yeah, you're just a Joan. Who's Source Joan? The real Joan. There, Source Joan. I'm not the real Joan? You're a version of Joan played by a digital likeness of Annie Murphy. Who's Annie Murphy? The actress. Look familiar? Schitt's Creek? No? Great show. Source Joan lives in reality. When Source Joan watches the TV show Joan is Awful, she sees you playing her. That show is the fictive level we're on right now. Here. The fictive level? Yes, fictive level one. You're in a show right now. I'm in a show right now? I mean, look at me. Michael Sarah licensed his face, oh, just like Annie Murphy licensed her face to play Joan on level one, and Salma Hayek licensed her face to play Joan on level two, and to play herself here on level one. I'm not playing myself. I am myself. Yeah, yeah, but it tracks that you believe that because you're coded to play yourself on this level. What? what? We're not in reality right now. This is fictive level one. If I'm not here, then where am I? I don't know where the real Miss Hayek is. I, I don't have eyes on her. She's probably in Zurich or, or on a beach somewhere. I don't know where the Joan that lives. <laughs> oh, thank God. He was so boring. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that fucking computer. 
Source gen. Just give that computer. Okay, just wait a second. Inside this computer, there's a version of you playing me who thinks she's real. Yeah. Do it. Okay, Come on. You destroy Come that. On. You destroy everybody inside every fictive universe about this one. This is a quantum computer, right? We we barely know how it works. It's basically magic. We barely know how it works. Would I die? Instantly. Put that fucking axe down, Annie Murphy. Now. Listen to her, Joan. Put it down. Do as you're told. The fact that I'm standing here right now means that Source Joan already stood here in reality, so the yeah. events that this is based on have already happened. It's not my decision. It's Joan's. No! Computer! Is that Source Joan? I think we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's Annie Murphy. <laughs> this is so confusing. Well, how does that make you feel? Feels good, you know? Feels good to be okay on your own. And work? I'm my own boss. I, I treat my staff well. I'm actually proud of what I do, so. Do you feel like the main character in my own life? Yeah, I, I think I do. And you don't feel too confined? Oh, the house arrest. Mm -hmm. You know, there's good days. And bad days. Hi, John. Hi, Abby. How you doing? Good. The usual? The usual. Please. Okay. Missed you. you they really both got kind of a good point. That was fucking great. Oh, you know what's interesting? The next episode is called Lock Henry. And when they were flipping through Streamberry shows, they said, do you want to watch Locke Henry? And he's like, no, nah, not another murder mystery. So that was another self-referential thing. Black Mirror's getting out of control with their little self-referential stuff. That was so funny. That was a really great episode. God, I miss this show. Um, so... I don't even know what to say. That was just great. It's quite awesome. I will say, idea-wise, if I were going to criticize it, I'd say, well, the old, you signed over your life when you clicked accept the agreement. That's kind of a trope, you know, almost. That's been used, I think, before. I mean, it's still a great show, episode. It was a great episode. But I would say, if somebody were to bring it to me and I was the executive in charge, I would say, well, you know, we, we're doing the old sign over everything if he accept the agreement. And then, what? how did they, they explain it with the, you know how you're talking about dog houses and then dog houses start being offered to you? That's how they do it. <laughs> like they just sort of brushed over any real explanation and then they went to computer that's a quantum computer yes that's why it's called that or whatever so that was pretty funny and then i think kind of the maybe they did a lot of that like when they a lot of like not really explaining it just leaving it enough vague like when michael sarah's going this is fictive <laughs> universe one or whatever that was all brilliant and it made you kind of go, wait, what? What does that mean? Then how's this? Who's this? And it made you do all that. But there is no thing to figure out, right? Because I don't think what they were saying is actually completely, you know, possible or whatever. They just It just had just enough, like, seemed weird enough, just enough to make your mind kind of go, Oh, wow. It could be that, you know, to be like, oh, there's a universe in the cell of my fingernail, and then I'm just in the cell of some giant's fingernail, you know. Just enough to kind of tease that little instinct in your brain to think of that. But <clears throat> but not that they didn't have to actually make it... um logically consistent they just had to hint at that weirdness enough to make you go wait what and then kind of move on to her smashing it with an axe 
Or maybe there is more consistency in there than I realize. That I'll realize when I rewatch it, when I'm editing it. But my sense was that it was all bullshit and that it's just, just enough to make it seem like it was possibly legit. Anyway, it was fucking super funny and super great. I love when Selma Hayek was bitching at her lawyer about the shit in her anus. I don't even know what to say. That was just really funny. All right. I can't wait to watch more of these. All right. Well, I'm going to go so I can put this up. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this episode. <laughs> Like, subscribe, comment, and if you like uh, full reactions, I'll put this up on Patreon as soon as I make a thumbnail for it. And the link for my Patreon is down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.